Okay, this is the uh, root for the Galaxy Note 2 SCL2E uh, NTT Docomo. And uh, make sure your phone is in debug mode, which is in uh, settings. And go down to developers and click USB debugging. And then <laughs> after that, you connect your phone, you leave it on the side. And plugged into your computer you're, you're gonna go down to uh, the links below click the uh, toolkit for the Galaxy Note 2 which is above right there and you're gonna install that after you get done installing that you're gonna make sure the antivirus if you do have one on your computer just make sure that's off I usually do it just for a safety thing and uh, we're gonna come here launch the toolkit let it run up it's going to ask for uh, update, yada, yada, yada. After that, you update it. You're going to hit 11. You're going to go over here, just type 11. Hit enter. You're going to install the Galaxy Note 2 drivers if you do not have them installed on your computer already. Uh, like it says right there, do this first and make sure the phone is unplugged. But if you have them installed, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to click uh, 2, the number 2. Hit enter. We're going to come down here and we are going to flash uh, the insecure boot image to the phone. Hit super user or super issue. It doesn't matter now because uh, they're both working. I hit two, enter, hit Y for yes. Uh, make sure your phone should be at the lock screen or whatever because the this toolkit will do everything. It'll put it in download mode and in everything. So that's the reason I'm using a toolkit so it can make it a little bit easier for. A lot of people out there who have trouble putting the phone inside download mode. So now the phone will go. It will recognize the phone and debug and it will reboot the phone automatically. You're going to see this file under underneath here where it says uh, root uh, the 7105 folder. Don't listen to that. To that little toolkit that we downloaded earlier for the Docomo. We're going to use that. But make sure your phone is calm auto reset is checked F reset is checked the only thing you're going to use is PDA the little docomo toolkit it should be on your desktop and we're going to use the uh, full root F full root boot we're going to click that instead of that 7105 click that hit open hit start it takes about five seconds your phone's going to reboot. After it gets done rebooting, you're going to exit out the program. It's going to push super user to the phone. So it's still doing stuff. So just just leave it. Like I said, this program is this, this program is great. It makes life easy. I push super user right there pretty much congratulations you hacked and we're gonna leave this open because we're gonna install a custom recovery here in a little bit but uh when your phone boots up go through make sure super user is working update it the first time it might fail and if it does just close it out and try it again it should work after it updates, make sure you install um, BusyBox too. And then we're going to come back to the toolkit here. And see my phone came up. We're going to go and install right here where it says Flash Custom Recovery. You can use Clockwork Mod or you, you can use TWRP. It doesn't matter. They both work, but preferably use TWRP it's a lot easier so we hit 2 then we hit yes and the phone will automatically reboot 
I'll go into download mode and then this file that it says uh, custom recovery twrp 2.3.2.7105 you want to use that file hit PDA and it should be installed inside the C drive your uh, Galaxy Note toolkit from uh, mskib hit recovery scroll down and it should say recovery twrp hit open then start make sure all your stuff is set up should take about five seconds done after that your phone will reboot and uh, after it restarts um, you can go into the custom recovery by holding the power button the home button and the up button on the phone and it'll take you to the custom recovery and what you want to do in there is uh, make a backup of your of your NAD RAM uh, it's going to save your butt if you ever mess up your phone so what you do is you hit backup and make sure EFS is checked on the left hand side or X and uh, make your backup name it whatever you can save it on the internal or the external SD card so do that and um, happy rooting and thank you uh, for the people over at XDA, XDA that helped out a lot uh, Gr um, Grant Rob was a big help me and him spent hours and hours and hours on it trying to get the phone I spent I think me and him spent up to like 12 hours one day trying to get the phone done but uh, he is crazy he was happy and uh, he's like I got it I got it <laughs> And it was like 12:30 at night, and uh, I ended up staying up to like 2:30, and had like two hours and 45 minutes of sleep for a uh, 11-hour day of work the next day. <laughs> but uh, everything's good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you got any questions, go over to the XDA forums. I'll put the link below inside of the descriptions. And for Dogomo, you guys are dirty. You guys are really dirty. It it was a good try, but. Uh, you guys failed anyways uh thank you everybody and uh i hope this helped you out and i will make another video on the uh the binary count reset peace